will it all back to death? That would be absolutely shocking. You can't even last a minute in that house if you keep on talking about that all day long. In the afternoon, good afternoon, Mr. Smith. How was it? You came up to your dad and said, Good morning, daddy. Go, no, no, why are you fine, man? Because he's your dad. He can't be afraid of your daddy and he can't be formal with your dad. Because he is the closest person ever to you. So it will be in absolute ease when it comes to you know, when you talk to him. So it will be informal. The President of the United States, which is the number one country in the world with its power, that President, when he walks in the, in the um, what do you call that place where they eat? Hmm? The whole office here, uh, the Congress. When he walks in that Congress room, everybody knows, everybody salutes. Everybody salutes the President when he walks. And the whole office. But, but when the president goes home, his little son or daughter, he walks in that home, the daughter and the son, they don't stand up saying, good morning, Mr. President. No, I say, uh, that is home. Hello, daddy, how are you? <laughs> he's the president, yes, he's the president out there, but he is happy inside the home. So I'm not going to stand up. He's my dad. The American citizens, I don't think they can do that in the president's house. But the son and the daughter of that president, yes they can. And Jesus, who is God to the whole world, but he's dead to the Christian world. He's God, he is king, he is president to the rest of the world, but he is daddy to those who are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He's my dad. I can go into his own personal room and I can hug him, I can I can pinch him, I can kiss him, I can I say I love you, man. And Jesus loves it to death when you talk to him, we do it. He loves it to death. Because if you speak to your daddy formally, he's gonna feel that he's a stranger to you. But when you treat your daddy like your daddy, hello dad, pretty father, lucky man, come on, let's go. Let's have some fun. He's going to feel that you're really my daughter, you're really my son. So when you are walking with your dad, when you talk to him with great ease, that's why the Lord says, every time you pray, say, our daddy who is in heaven, give you this father man. Daddy, I have come today. I am calling out to you because I want to get your attention. So how do you get God's attention? Every time you say, my daddy. The moment you say, my daddy, God is all ears listening to you. Because he loves the word daddy. The most. You call him God, he likes it. You call him Lord, he likes it. You call him Savior, he likes it. You call him Redeemer, he likes it. You call him the Good Shepherd, he likes it. You call him Almighty, the Creator, you name it, he likes it. But you call him Daddy, he jumps with joy. You know, the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus in the Gospel of St. John 17, he is talking to his daddy and he said, I have, I have declared your name to them, that means the twelve disciples, his followers. He said, I have declared your name to them, and I am declaring your name. You see, God has so many names in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, that they, they did not understand that God loves one name the most. His name was Elohim. God the Almighty, the Creator. His name was and still is Yahweh, Jehovah. He's got so many names. But there is one name that Jesus says, I am declaring to your followers, to my followers, and that name is Dad. Because God 